Toyota Cressida, it's your turn to get repaired. Get towed back to the shop for a fuel, full fuel system overhaul. Okay, off we go. No, I think this Toyota is going to break in half when I get it going again. There's the frame right below where the passenger seat fit. And there's the frame right below where the driver's feet sit. Well, it really isn't there anymore. There's the rocker panel. I think after a couple bumps, this car will just break in half. Wouldn't be the first time out here. This car is such a piece of crap, I hardly know if it's worth it. Well, I got some recycled dehumidifier tubing to make fuel line out of, and I think I'll put a gas tank in the front seat along with the fuel pump. Well, I'm going to have to make a fuel line access hole to get the lines into the interior with the least effort possible. This should be a good spot. There, I can get the input and out lines to fit in there, I think, just fine. Of course, no vehicle is spared at Dave's farm. We've got insurgents everywhere. Goodbye. This time we use conventional warfare. <laughs> well, new aluminum fuel lines are attached. They go through the front access hole. If the fucking door worked, we'd be all set. I've got to put a container in there now and a fuel pump. Now to remove the gas tank. This rusty beast. And boy, do I mean rusty. Well, job's half done already from rust. Just got to cut one strap, let the tank fall out, and here we go. You know, I think that tank's been changed. It's actually in good condition, but who cares? Look at the crap growing in here. This is the car that has been sitting in the forest since 2000 or 2001. Now it should drop fuel input from the gas cap. Fuck that stinks! Ugh. It's green! <coughs> I gotta change. You can see where it splattered all over me. Yuck! Mechanics perfume. Well, that was a waste of time. This stupid thing is so old. But there's the fuel pump mounted externally, right there. Now I've got to see if it works. I'll cut it off. There's the pump, the release, and down goes the car. Well, we're almost ready. Fuel line inputs and output holes. 
pump is working. Some uh, Alberta Canadian elixir. You're ready to go. Well, now all I gotta do is hook some wires up, put a battery in the pig, and I bet you she'll run. She's a Toyota. Well, good thing it's a cold and cloudy day. Because I have a problem with more fucking bees. The only reason they're not attacking me is it's too cold to get their wing muscles in action. So I guess I have to apply more conventional warfare and eliminate the insurgents so that this event can continue. I really think that if I would have got this car going, the sound and the vibrations might have excited the enemy. Well, Let's see if this excites you. Die, fuckers. Fucking bees. Pray your last buzz. The troops are dropping. You know, the reason why I'm not afraid of bees is because for 27 years I kept honeybees in my backyard. So bees don't scare me. I've been stung so many times. Whoa! Gee, there's even one on me. You little guys. Your weapons of ass destruction won't hurt me today. Um, I think the problem's almost complete. Let's finish hooking up our wires. I hope there ain't any, ain't any bee lovers out there. I really hope so. Guys. My radio ain't working too hot today. My meter's working fine. I decided that the rear defrost will be my fuel pump power source. And I've just tested. This is the live switched positive that only comes on when I turn my ignition on. And look who just showed up. Hi, buddy. Wolf, where are you going? So. I thought I'd fix my problem. Then we'll Okay, wires are connected. See if I can fit it back in the hole. Good as new. Stick my redneck key in and. Ooh, she's working. See? I can turn her on. Or I can turn her off. I wish women were that easy. But anyways, let's get a move on. Here's where the fuel lines go out. Ooh, hear the pressure changing. She's priming. I hear the air purging out of the system. Let's do a outside check first. Uh-oh, why are you getting so noisy?